Good afternoon. I'm so happy to have you all come and listen to me read this afternoon at the Reach Bookstore. And the story I have for you today is kind of a funny, humorous, silly story. And it's about a worm. It's called Diary of a Worm. And it's written by Doreen Cronin. And Harry Bliss does the pictures. And he is a hilarious illustrator. Diary of a Worm. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. Number one, the earth gives us everything we need. Me. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help to take care of the earth. Must make tunnel. Help earth breathe. Number three, Never bother daddy when he's eat, reading, excuse me, eating the newspaper. Chomp! March 29th. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then, he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Bait. Did you guys hear something? Grandpa. <laughs> April 10th. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I <laughs> ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I was finished, <laughs> I ate that too. I was really hungry. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. I love it when they do that. May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said, good morning to the first ant I saw. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, nice to see you. Howdy, good morning. I stood there all day. May 8th. Had the worst nightmare last night. Mom says, I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. It was giant birds playing hopscotch. Yikes! Very scary. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. I made Spider laugh so hard on May 16th, he fell out of his tree. <laughs> Who needs legs? Thud. May 28th. Last night, I went to the school dance. You put your head in. You put your head out, 
you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. June 5th. Today, we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. You're very talented. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. <laughs> Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th, three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep him, Mom? Number three, all that homework. Digging, a mystery. Soil, through the ages. My casting journal, night crawlers, spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. Compost 101. July 29th. Three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. Number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. Number three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small. And sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets we're here. These are some pictures of my summer. Bee stung me. Isn't this leaf awesome? I found this really cool rock. Mom and Dad's anniversary. Gross. My own comic. Superworm. My sister's slumber party. <laughs> My favorite pile of dirt. The end of Diary of a Worm. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Thank you for coming.